Hello, dear friends. This is an emergency reporting. Pure outreach journalism. The day of 24th September has lived up to its reputation by downing with very important rumors from various sources. Who said nothing would happen? The Beijing style roast like it get duck is served. Opinion piece. Coup d'etat in China. A fire in the CCP. Signs of instability. Something is happening in China. Turmoil on social media. New leadership seems to be in place. Xi Jinping under house arrest. Flight cancellations were the sign all. 80 km armored column. General Li Qiaoming reportedly in command. Flight cancellations, set of arm bells. Let's start. Rumors of a coup in China against Xi Jinping stirred the nets, the social nets. But diplomatic sources deny it. Reports of a plot of a discontent with the CCP weeks before Xi gets his third term have stirred the nets. There are reports of large military movements heading towards Beijing. General Li Qiaoming is reportedly in command of the uprising troops and is likely to be China's next president. Rumors of the alleged arrest of President Xi Jinping following an alleged coup d'etat in China gained momentum on Friday. The Parisians couldn't be confirmed so far but neither were they denied by Beijing. It is reported on the internet that Xi Jinping was detained, arrested in a riot, and was absent from an important military meeting. Nothing has yet been confirmed. But there is much speculation on social media. The rumors have been circulating for about 24 hours. And it's interesting that Xi Jinping has not appeared publicly to deny them, as one would expect. According to these rumors, the original members of the CCP Standing Committee reportedly removed Xi Jinping's military power by a show of hands, removing him as head of the Central Military Commission. When she found out, he returned to Beijing on the night of 16th September. She was reportedly arrested at the airport. He is now under house arrest in Thong Nang Sai's home. The leadership change was to be announced at the 7th plenary session of the 19th Central Committee. It cannot be verified, but it seems that China has a new leadership. Doubts. Experts doubt the coup reports, but also see signs of discontent. It is hard to see the CCP's policy. That is not to say it has none. It is just that it is well disguised. But from time to time, careful stage man management fails and the red cutting is unexpectedly pulled aside. On the other hand, the cancellation of 60% of flights in the Asian powerhouse made the noise around Xi's alleged tension grow louder. But the sources consulted explained that they were suspended because of a military exercise that, has, that had been previously announced. Would the massive cancellation of flights in China be just a military exercise, or is there something more to it? A video was released of military vehicles moving towards Beijing that came immediately after 59% of flights in the country were grounded and there was talk of the imprisonment of senior officials. There is a lot of smoke, which means there is a fire somewhere inside the CCP. China is unstable right now. One of the versions that circulated in the last few hours on the networks claimed that the plot had been organized by special forces of the People's Liberation Army, who answered to General Li Qiaoming, in charge 
of the Northern Theater Command, one of the five of the Chinese army. Li had been appointed to the 19th Central Committee of the Communist Party of China in October 2017. A strange absence. The National Congress of the Chinese Communist Party, the country's highest body, which elects the members of the Central Committee and renews the highest authorities such as Xi, will be held on 16 October and it is assumed that the third term in office will be consecrated for the current lady, who has thus become the most powerful ruler since Mao Zedong, disrupting the more collegial dynamic of modern communist China. According to this version, she was absent from the seminar of national defense and military reform on Wednesday, although he had already did returned from his first international tour after the health crisis at the Shanghai Cooperation Organization in Uzbekistan, where he met with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin, Foreign Minister Wang Ji, who was in New York for the United Nations General Assembly, was also absent. The one who did attend the seminar was Li, who sat next to military commander Liu Zeli. The point is that she is preparing to assume his third term in office in an extraordinary concession that would make sections of the party leadership uncomfortable. Seminar. And this seminar of national defense and military reform was held in Beijing on 21st September. The two vice, vice chair, chairmen of the Central Military Commission, Xu Oiliang and Zhang Yosha, and members of the Central Military Commission attended the seminar. Relevant people in charge of the armed forces and armed pol police forces, including the Academy of Military Sci <coughs> Science, the National Defense University, the National Defense Science and Technology University, and other military academies attended the meeting. In other words, the brains of the military are basically in place. According to official reports, the theme of this meeting would be to discuss military reform, and the main agenda is twofold, to convey Xi Jinping's instructions to summarize the historical achievements of military reform, and to focus on the new situation and new requirements to prepare for war. Two deputy of officers of the military of commission, the president and the commanding officers of 12 units, delivered speeches on the achievements of military reform and the follow-up working arrangements for military reform. In other words, from the perspective of the meeting itself, its superficial function is to summarize the achievements of military reform, but in reality it would be to show Xi Jinping's main poli policy achievements. Political propaganda. Military convoy. Multiple reports say that the CCP Congress did, didn't go well for Xi Jinping. He is rumored to be under arrest as an 80 kilometer long column of armored vehicles moves into position in Hebei province, just west of Beijing. Stay tuned for announcements, news, information, rumors, tidbits, and gossip. Chinese journalist and the human rights activist Jennifer Zeng a dissident and former member of the CCP tweeted a video showing military vehicles heading towards Beijing on 22nd September, starting from Huan Luai County near Beijing and ending in Zhang Jiaokou City, Hebei Province, a full procession of uh, up to 80 kilometers. The narrative anti regime accounts hold that the alleged coup was planned by military and senior party members unhappy with Xi's iron leadership. Earlier on Friday, former Vice Minister of Public Security Sun Linjun was given a suspended death sentence, but is eligible for life imprisonment. But the Changchun Intermediate People's Court for allegedly collections bribes. Sun was accused by the president's entourage of leading a mafia 
within the party that opposed Xi. Five former poli police chiefs were also arrested for their links to Sun, in the biggest perk of China's security apparatus, and just weeks before the party congress. Iron Fist The National Congress of the Chinese Communist Party is taking place in Beijing. President Xi was seeking for a third five-year term as president and head of the People's Liberation Army. He, was being, he has been unpopular recently due to blockades in cities such as Shanghai. The CCP is the Chinese Communist Party, which has ruled mainland China with an iron fist since 1949. The CCP Party Congress meets every five years to elect new leaders. They are meeting in Beijing this week and definitely have the authority to oust Xi under the country's one-party system. PLA stands for People, People's Liberation Army, the Chinese Army. China has one and a half billion people, perhaps the largest population in the world, and more than the population of Europe and the US combined, the largest army in the world by numbers of soldiers, and it stepped in to restore order when stability in the autocracy that is communist China seems to be failing. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.